Um, educating investors. is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the... Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We've got some very colorful, exciting charts to look at today, folks. We're going to start at the ones across the pond, and then as soon as we're finished with that, I'll go into the uh, thing about the New York, or the Dow Jones yesterday when we were on the air. Uh, people, Several people have asked me about that number and what I was looking at and what I what I so I'll... I'll try to do that, but this, uh, if you'll notice here, uh, this is the FTSE on an hourly chart. You can see all the ABCDs up here, three drive patterns, everything that you want to see. We've already started to go down, much like we have here. Remember yesterday, one of the things that we were talking about from our friend Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com, he showed us that we have a Bradley date that is due either today or tomorrow. Could have came in yesterday within one day between the 16th and 18th of uh, August. And so if that's the case, we should have made some type of a top up in here. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to last more than a day or two, but at least the Dow was off about 300 points at, at one time today and went down very, very close to the 382, went below it by about 40, 40 handles and then rallied uh, 180 points. So maybe that's going to be enough to hold it. That we don't know. But you know what, boys and girls? Nobody else does either. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the FTSE on just a little bit longer time frame because these patterns are quite pronounced, and that's why I'm spending some time with them today. Saves you a trip across the pond. There you can see uh, we actually have a modified 135 pattern there, one on the far left. There's your three, and there's your five. So that could be a 135 pattern, and along with that, you know, double ABCD that's been made up here. So we're at really critical levels in all of these. Now, the next one we want to look at, of course, uh, is the uh, German DAX. And we'll get up here and take a look at that. This will be on a 60 minute. And it's also pretty nice. By the way, tomorrow our guest will be Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. On Friday, we've got uh, Jim Bartolioni of Bart's Charts. And next week on Monday, the 22nd, we will have none other than himself. Mr. Norm Winsky from Astro Trends down in Florida. So, and then we have um, there'll be uh, Jeff Hughes will be on next week, and I believe Stan Harley also. We like to have those guys on twice a month because they have some really updated stuff that I think is uh, really important. So you can see what we're looking at here in all of these. Well, the ones we're looking at is the FTSE and the DAX over there. They look very, very interesting. Remember, folks. I, I'm uh, I just I just do a B C D's and a little bit of other stuff to try to get to where we are. Now I wanted to talk uh, before we get to well let's just do the stock market one right now because this is not a rocket science I don't think so we'll get up here and take a look. Yesterday when we were on the air I saved this so we'd be able to see it. This was at the close of the show. We were looking at the major 1.618 expansion up here at. 34,209, and we got to 34,242, and then we broke all the way down to 38, um, 3809. So we dropped down about 400 points uh, from that point. Now, uh, you remember, we didn't make the 382 retracement on the Dow Jones. We did on the S&P, but we did not make it. 
in the Dow Jones. The reason why we were looking at the Dow Jones was twofold. We were looking at it, of course, on the shorter time frame that gave us the last two days, all of the 15th and 16th. But also, if you'll remember, we were looking at the Dow Jones. I'm doing this because I had three people ask me to go through it. So I hope it's not boring. It's not boring to me, even though I'd see it all the time. Here's the possibility. Now, this is the possibility that this is this big one, three, five pattern coming in. There's your 78% level, folks. I mean, we, that was it. We were sitting right there on the money, honey, as they say. And it stopped and it's dropped 400 points now. Anything going anywhere near that level again tells us that we could go higher. So if you're in that trade, you've made a couple of bucks. Don't let it. Don't don't make any less than a thousand dollars, folks. That's the main thing that you want to do. But lock in at least 200 points, because a thousand dollars or 200 points in the S&P is not easy to get, and not only that, it's not easy to keep. So remind ourselves, that's what we're watching. This is a very important one that we're looking at here, right at this 78% level. And it's important for several different reasons. And I'm going to show you reason numero uno. Let's take a look at it. I want you to see something here. We're going to go back into time, boys and girls. Hold on just a second. Get the old time machine up here. And we're going to go back about 14 years to 2008. I think if Mr. Basil Chapman is listening to this one, or Steve Rhodes, or Tom O'Brien, they'll probably like this, because look where we are. Back in 2008, we were sitting right there at this old number of 2008, the old 200-day moving average. And if you think these moving averages aren't important, folks, think again, because there a lot of these quants are using these things. I mean, I don't use them. I use the Fibonacci numbers and numbers of sacred geometry. But these folks that use moving averages are pretty smart, too. And you can see that's where we are. Now, guess what? We're going to get back into our time machine. I hope you like this time travel stuff, folks, because it's very exciting for me being the technician that I am. I want to show you where we are today, where we are today. Hold on just a second here. And here's where we are. Okay. There's where we are. We're sitting right at the 200-day moving average, just like we were in 2008. Is this similar to 2008? I don't know. But the fact that it's setting at that 135 pattern right at the 78% level, you gotta get, you got to respect it. Because these markets repeat over and over again. And it's important that we look for that repetition. That's what we're... You know, we're really trying to do here. Now, we've got ever other markets to cover this morning because we have a, been watching this crude oil like a hawk for the past uh, several days. It's trying to make a bottom, but boy, it's not an easy bottom. So we're going to be showing you what we're watching here uh, in the crude oil. Uh, we also want to go through and uh, show you uh, what's been happening with one of our very favorite things, natural gas, because something very, very important happened in natural gas today. And I, I think you'll enjoy seeing that pattern unfold. If you have any questions today, folks, it's 877-927-6648. And I'll be happy to answer any questions if I possibly can. Now, we'll be right back. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, we're going to change gears for just a minute because we've got something exciting happening from the old three eight two standpoint. I posted the chart here, the old eight minute chart of the Dow Jones E Mini, and by golly, guess where we're sitting, folks right there at the 382 retracement of that whole move down. And so we'll keep a good eye on it. Now, if you're going to do that trade, you know, you don't have to risk more than about 60 points, which is roughly 300 bucks. So the first one would have made a lot of money. You know, if you went down there, you can see the 382 on the downside down there just below 3,900. Uh, yeah, excuse me, yeah, 39 and what was it? Yeah, 43,900. But anyway, uh, it, it's all about, uh, risk control folks and probability they don't always work remember they don't always work and so that's the important thing but it keeps the excitement alive here at the old trading room here at TFNN so we'll be watching that very very closely now what we want to do now is go back and take a look at this natural gas because there's a beautiful story told here if you like TFNN and if you like to listen to some of these trades that we put on I think you're going to enjoy this one because this comes fresh out of the old AB equals CD floor traders handbook look at this folks you can see this market went up and made a new high above 9600 the old high on this uh, natural gas folks at one time was 17 so we're about halfway there you can stop and think the people in the UK are paying uh, four times what we pay for their natural gas because everything that they have there is uh, very very important so let's uh, remind ourselves of that. Hold on one second. I have to take a little drink of water. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Now here's here's the here's the sequel to this. And here I want to give him a big hands up and thank you to my good friend. Uh, Steve Rhodes for switching times with me because this, <laughs> I never would have got this one had I not been uh, able to uh, be watching it because it was happening uh, a little while ago uh, early in the morning but let's see what's happened if we believe in ABCD and everybody that believes in ABCD raise their hand oh by golly there's our hands are being raised and I'm sure sounding corny today and guess what we finally got the old air conditioning fixed. Hold on, I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Okay, here is now, there's, you're going to be looking at the short-term pattern 
in the natural gas. And as you can see, this absolutely beautiful ABCD pattern up here. Now, this isn't much of a move, folks, from the high up here uh, down to the low and then to the 382 retracement. This move down uh, with the margin is 3,900, okay? That move down was only 5,500, but, but it took a whole hour to get there. So, I mean, just shows you the volatility that you're having in natural gas. And then, of course, you went up to make the 382, just like we're just like we did in the Dow Jones here just a second ago, and now you can see this is backed off. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to today, folks. Um, they don't always work, but when they do, they work pretty good. I've asked someone asked a question about the moving average. Uh, why why don't I look at moving averages more, folks? I I do everything based on A B C D because that's what the fractal of the markets happens to be. That's proved to us by by Gartley and also by Benoit Mandelbrot and also in that Floor Traders Handbook absolutely, you know, shows it perfectly that that's what it is. Does it work all the time? Absolutely not. Does it work more than it fails? Yes, absolutely it does. But that's what I do. Now, moving averages and oscillators and those things are lagging. A, B, C, D is not lagging. It's right on the money. I mean, hey, sometimes the money takes it away from you. But when you're setting up there at point D and it starts to work, I mean, by the time a moving average turns, folks, this thing's way down here. You know, so that's one of the advantages that Steve and, and also um, Basil Chapman do. I mean, they, they don't put their entries in on that. I mean, we looked at this 200-day moving average that came from our good friend Jason over in uh, Micronesia where he trades all the time. And, you know, it, it maybe it works, it maybe it isn't. But the fact that it all lined up together gives you what? It gives you some information. That's really what it's all about. And what you have to do is take that information and convert it into, you know, a, a situation where you don't have to risk very much. Okay, that's the uh, that's the bottom line of, uh, you know, what we're what we're really looking at. You know, so let's let's keep in mind. Okay, that's basically it. Okay, now let's move on to a couple other things that we want to cover here uh, before we get on to something else. Getting on to that uh, E-mini S&P, we talked about the, the Dow Jones. And let's Here's the Dow Jones. We'll get this up here because this was the E-mini S&P. I wanted to get it here because it was also included uh, in what we were looking at. And there it is right there. You can see the levels of the 382s all the way up, okay? Yeah, and that, that's all that was doing, just following along what we were uh, trying to explain each day. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. And let, now let's take a look at what happened to the S&P after that occurred. Now, if we believe in ABCDs, and if we believe in, you know, what we call 382s, here's where it was last night. You can see here the market made the high up here. It came down. What did it do? Over almost a 40-minute period, it goes right up to an exact 382 retracement and comes down and stops right at – look at this. This is what's important, folks. You see that arrow that I drove here? Dro drove here. <laughs> that I drew in? The reason why that's important, once that market starts breaking below the 1.618, man alive, don't be long there. Just like if it would have broken to the upside, if we'd have gone above 43.40 or something – that, that doesn't work. The numbers no longer work. The, these patterns are there for two reasons. They're predictable within reason, AA, the key word there being reason. And the second thing is, is that it tells you when you're wrong. And you can't stand in front of it when you're wrong. And as you can see, we went all the way down to uh, actually Steve Rhodes' magic number of 42, uh, 58 to 4260. And of course, we rallied, you know, 25 handles since then. But 25 handles in a market like this is nothing. So that's what we're that's what we're watching here is to watch these numbers as they unfold because they're they're very very important and uh, they don't always work as I've said many times but in fact they do they do work when we get back um, from the uh, break which is coming up pretty soon I want to go over the old famous uh, pork bellies of the old uh, commodity markets these days which is the crude oil natural gas happens to be the sequel to that. But uh, crude oil is just an absolute. If you believe in numbers and Fibonacci, my goodness, you have to pay attention to this one because 
it's really trying to tell a story. I wish I knew what the ending of the story was, but it certainly had some wild swings here today that we were uh, expecting, and they, they did work out relatively well. Okay, one other question someone's asked is about the gold. Yes, we are still bearish to gold. We believe we got the Fed today. Don't forget here, in about 40 minutes, the old Federal Reserve will be out there. And uh, we'll be uh, talking to them uh, after I'm off the air. But watch that gold down there at 1768, folks. You'll never guess what that number is. It's point. It's between 0.39, right, and 0.37. What would that be? 0.382. So watch 1768 in that gold market. Because if gold's good, it's going to stop there. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, one of our listeners has been kind enough to send us a copy of the Cash S&P, the SPX, and I really would like to focus on this level right here. If you'll notice here, right there, there's your 382 retracement with your a, B, C, D pattern. I'm not sure, but would you let me know? Can you uh, let me double check to get into? Uh oh, I think that's the old. Um, the Dow Jones seems to be going above the number. Is that correct, Larry? Let's double check here. See where we are. Yes, it has. Say so this may be trouble in River City, folks. The number was thirty three nine seven three. We're now at thirty three nine eighty two. Now, if we get above. 
Uh, you got to risk see, 9, 7, 43. You got to risk uh, 40 points. You got to get above 34 and change for it to be wrong. But now we're 10 pips uh, above that uh, number. Usually it's perfect, but not always. So remember, this is a game of not risking very much. And that's the whole key here of what we're looking at here is not risking very much. So what I'm going to do now, because the limit minder went off, is I want to be able to know if it's going to continue to work or not because it doesn't work all the time that's the main thing sometimes we get pretty lucky on these but other times it's not the same okay that covers the spx i wanted you to see that because oh, i took it off the air and I, I, the reason why i'm trying to make a an appointment and the limit minder went off and everything's happening at once shut the front door raise the rent okay there's the this is this is the key level you see this folks this is what I think is happening in the gold market. I think we're getting ready to hit 1768 in the gold. We rallied 150 bucks up from 17 from 1676 to 1824. Uh, that 382 comes in at 1868 and we got the Federal Reserve today. So keep an eye on 1868. I, I dislike that number. I uh, you know, I, I said buy it at 1868, put a $10 stop on it. You know, it's uh, it's better to buy it there than to buy it at 1822. So that's what I'm paying attention to. You can see all the way up here, you know, this thing was very, very strong. And we were talking about it all the way is because, you know, we kept going higher and higher. The real key to all these is when we went above 4,200 in the S&P folks last week, that was a really key number. And remember, it stayed there at, at 42. 100, 4210, backed off a little bit down below 4198, and then came roaring back. That's when it tells you that you're wrong, and that's why it's important. That's why the 1.618 is such an important number, because boy, when that thing breaks, oh dear, just uh, it's just really the most amazing thing. I owe, I mean, I, I knew these numbers. I knew 1.618, 618, and 382. Uh, like the back of my hand, but it wasn't until 1988. Uh, uh, well, yeah, you know, no, it was yeah, early, early 1988, February 1988. I was in Chicago, and Bryce Gilmore was giving a speech there. I'd, I knew who he was, but I'd never met him. And one of my students came running up to me, and he says, "You've got to come into the room here and listen to this guy talk." He said, "Because boy, he really knows Fibonacci." And I saw it was Bryce Gilmore. So I walked into the back of the room. There's about 200 people there. And he sees me. He's never met me before. And he says, oh, he says, look who's in the room. He said, Mr. Fibonacci himself, Mr. Pesavento. He says, why don't you come up here to the front row here and see and sit down for a few minutes and maybe you'll learn something. And everybody cracked up. And I did, too. I, th I said, oh, brother, what am I in for now? So I sat down there 10 minutes into it. I said, oh, my God, this is it. And at the break, I walked up, and I said, when are you going back to Australia? He said, well, I was thinking of going to California. And I said, well, I've got a trading house in California that's waiting for you. You can stay as long as you like. We've got an extra car, everything you need. He stayed three three months with me, and from then on, he spent several months with me for from 80 Eight all the way through uh, 94. Then I moved here and he came over and spent some time here in Tucson with me. But he really got me started seeing sacred geometry for what it is. Basically, you know, the Fibonacci sequence is part of that, but it's also the square roots and the reciprocals of numbers one, two, three, four, and five, equal to our five senses that Pythagoras always talked about. But his wave trader program put all these numbers in and it flashed beautiful colors. And that's where I started to see the butterfly pattern. And that's why I called it the butterfly. But uh, when I started seeing that, but the thing that he had on that wave trader program, it would be ranked from one to 10. So if you got to a 10, that means that all the ratios were ready to go. But boy, let me explain something to you folks. I did about 13 trades in a row uh, with that thing, and it worked every time. But on the 14th one, it was the second day, and I had, of course, I had a, a stop in on the market, and Steve Shapiro and I were trading together, and uh, I, I believe it was Treasury bonds, and this thing just went popping through that number of 1.618. And when Bryce came in a little later, I said, "Look what happened here." He said, "Yeah." 
He said, when it goes through 1.618, he said, that's your proverbial line in the sand. And I will never forget that. But my most memorable story, I've got a couple minutes here because it's it's important to me and hopefully it's important to you. This was 1988. It was probably April. And uh, we were trading at the house. And Bryce didn't have an account because he was in Australia and Australians couldn't trade. Uh, U.S. markets, and so I was letting I was putting contracts on for him. And he wanted to sell four Treasury bonds. I believe the price was like 10103, and he said, "Put it. I want to sell a uh, four of them at 10103, and I want to put a stop at 10104." I said, "One tick." I said, "Get out of here!" I said, "You can't trade bonds for one tick." He said, "If they see 10104, I'm going to take all of my books." And I'm going to go down to that pier there at Pismo Beach, and I'm going to throw them into the Pacific Ocean and let them float back to Australia. And I'm going down to Los Angeles to start buying exotic cars again, put them on a boat, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be done for trading forever. And I said, come on, one tick? He said, it's not going to see 10104. So I put the order in. takes about an hour. We finally get filled. I don't know how many times it hit there. We finally got filled. And then the market started to back off, and he was out putting his golf clubs in the back of the car, and uh, he yelled up, and he said, what are the bonds doing? I said, well, they hit 10103. We got filled, and it's down about a half a point. I said, you you know, he said, you, you mean I've made 2000 bucks?" And I said, yeah, you've made $2,000. He says, well, let's book it. And I said, you waited all this time to get there, and you want to just take a $2,000 profit? He said, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. So I took off the four contracts. And when we went to dinner that night, I never said a word because he didn't know where the bonds had closed because the bonds closed, are you ready, boys and girls, $2,500 lower. And they didn't see 10103 for several years. But uh, that's the, the – I asked him, I said, can you tell me why that was so important? He said, you're not qualified to learn that kind of stuff. And that's what he told me. I said, yeah, you're probably right. But anyway, that's uh, my story, and I'm sticking to it. Steve, Steve and I chat about that all the time. Well, not all the time. But occasionally we remember Bryce. We remember that story. There were a lot of other ones too, but uh, – yeah, he's a real character, a real Damon Runyon character. We got another break coming up here already, and we got to get back here and get to our crude oil because we haven't even covered that yet. And that's, uh, I think, very important. We got a real chance here on crude oil to make uh, some type of a bottom in here, but whether we get it or not, you know, remains, uh, you know, remains to be seen. So let's uh, keep that in mind also. So we've got the music coming up or not. I can't tell whether the music is coming, Al. Ah, there's the music. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to talk about crude oil now. You'll notice here up at the high at 95, which was also a 382 retracement, we had a big A, B, C, D pattern right there. Um, that was the one we, it was quite quite a few days ago. Uh, then we came down and you can see we made the 382 retracement here. You notice we went above it a little bit. That's maybe what happened with the Dow Jones here in just the last few minutes, completing that A, B, C, D, or maybe it's going to fail. You know, this is the head, this is where you flip the coin and put your stop in because you don't know whether you're going to be right or wrong. But that's that's what we're looking at right here is that beautiful pattern. Now, if you believe what we always talk about here, these markets do two things. One, they repeat. And what do they do? They repeat with regularity that is predictable within limits. And the key there word is the word limits. So remember, we were looking at that up there at 90 and change at that point. Now, let's take a look. And what happened uh, right after that? Just a second. I've got to get the. I've got these marked up so that we're able to see. You'll be able to see where we are here. Okay, here's where we want to get this up here to see where we are because two things happened that I want to show you why these patterns work and when they're, you know, using a 15-minute chart. You can see here. Here was the big high that we made up here. Okay, that was the 382 up there at 9060. We came down. We went right up to the 382 again. You can see right there. Look at this pattern right here, folks. Here's the one that I did last night. So I bought that ABCD pattern right there. I put my stop in. And, of course, uh, I had to go to sleep sometime. And uh, what happened was I got out at break even. And, of course, from there, you know, it just kept going down, down, down. That's why you want to be patient and also put your stops in because, you know, when you you can't watch these things 24 hours a day. I've tried and it doesn't work. So let's remind ourselves of that. But there's another one here that I that I think is that is really important. And this is the one from last night. I, I printed it out just to show you what I was looking at. And this is where I went long. OK, and bring it up here. This is the kind of trade that I would do today if I were trading crude oil. Uh, I'm, I'm not in the crude oil right now, but uh, I'm out at break even. But anyway, there's a, there's a three. You can see the 382. There's your ABCD just right before the 50% retracement. Your risk there is very small. Perfect ABCD, by the way. You can see it. Just there's your A leg, B leg, C leg, D leg, and then of course you went up and you went all the way up a lot higher uh, before you finally uh, you know rolled over. And then uh, it was stopped out, you know, a little bit later. How do I know that this is going to keep going up? I don't know, because sometimes you do them and they just keep going up and up and up and you don't know what else to do but to hang on. And that's it. Remember, they're part predictability. But the main thing that these patterns are for is one thing and one thing only, folks, risk control. Because when they fail, 
when they fail, stand aside or learn how to glide because it's going to tear you a new hairpiece, even if you don't need one. So remind ourselves of that, folks. We're looking at it from a very, very important standpoint here for risk control. That's what they're all about. Uh, I can give you all the patterns that you want to look at, but by golly, when they fail, and they do fail, you've got to, uh, you've got to stand aside and uh, you know, do the best you can. Now, uh, let's move over here to we want to talk about – I think that was the last one on the uh, – oh, no, here's – there's the last one on the on the uh, S&P uh, – the, the, uh, the, 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 the hello operator. Crude oil, let's get this up here. Here's the last one I wanted to show you in crude oil because this one, you see it went through – you see it made the 382 retracement here. Then it came down and then it exploded above the 382, went all the way up. And made a 61% retracement of the high that we made yesterday. Okay, but guess where this was? This was 382 of the high that we made the day before. So by golly, pay attention to that. It's a nice little pattern that uh, pays a few dividends when it works. That's the key. When it works, we try to only show you the ones that work. And if you believe that, I still have. Two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Okay, now for my air conditioning story. Uh, we had an air conditioning go out, and we've had the same air conditioning man for 30 years. His name is Jim, and uh, he uh, is a, I don't know how old he is. He's probably close to my age, but it's 100 degrees out, and he's hopping up on my roof with a 60-pound uh, a motor that he has to install. And um, it takes him a couple hours to do it, and it's, you know, extremely hot up there. And then when he gets down, you know, and I ask him, I said, how come you don't have some help? He said, I can't get anybody to work for me. He said, uh, he said I've tried, you know, raising the price 50%. He said, you can even double the price. He said, people just don't want to work. And uh, he said, it's a little bit of a skill because you have to pass some tests and stuff, but it's hard work, but it's honest work. And uh, he said, uh, just said, I can't get anybody to, to do it. And so I said, well, I can, I can certainly understand that. And then I thought of ourselves, here we are, folks, all of us sitting here in front of these little tiny machines trying to figure out where to be a buyer and seller. We're not up on the roof at 100 degrees uh, temperature. And by golly, you know, that's the main thing that you want to remember here, that you are uh, very lucky to have a job like this. And the fact that you have this electronic trading the way we have it now Shut the front door. It's like owning a seat, folks. I paid one hundred nineteen thousand dollars for my seat, uh, you know, to get to to see that I could trade for two bucks on each side, and now you pay four bucks uh, in and out. So you know, you're just like a floor trader there. So as long as you don't make any really stupid mistakes, then you got a really good chance of uh, you know doing something. That's the the real key. You know, to uh, watching what we're doing right now. I haven't heard the limit mind to go off, so that tells me that. We're still trading near that 382 level, so we'll keep watching that. If you have any questions, it's all uh, we got only got about 12 minutes to go. It's 877 927 6648. So if you're in that trade, you know, put your stop in at 3401. That rate that way you're only going to risk a hundred and fifty dollars. $150 is the price of a good steak at Morton's for you and your wife if you ever get to Chicago, but that's uh, pretty much it. So hopefully we'll see where we're at. I was just told that we're trading exactly at the 382 now at 33,973 in the E-mini. And we'll see if it's going to work or not. But your risk there is 30 points. If we get hit, we'll make it back on something else. But right now, that's what we're looking at. Now, I wanted to go and talk about one other market, and that is the market that just keeps on giving. And let's get this up here to take a look at it. And that is the euro. Remember, we got the Federal Reserve here in the next 40 minutes or so, so it's going to be wild, so get ready for that. That's uh, no, uh, no question about it. It's going to be pretty wild. Here's our euro. It looks pretty much like the crude oil. Look at this. This is a daily, folks. Look at this trend to the downside, you know, selling these rallies, little ABCD rallies all through here, 61% retracement, 382 retracements. I mean, this, is, uh, this market's extremely bearish. Now, when, when will it change? Well, if we get it above 104, I'll say, yeah, we got a chance for it to change. But right now, this market looks like it wants to go to par. And that, that means below that 101 level. And believe me, it's not par that you're going to be looking at. You're going to be looking at either 96 or 94. Remember, it was 20 years ago, 22 years ago uh, this month 
that uh, the euro was out trading actively starting in 1998, and we got down, believe it or not, folks, to 84 in the euro. That's how low that puppy got, and it went from 84 to 160. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's pay a few bills, 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back here, folks. We've got about a couple more minutes to go, and then we got the Fed talking. We're trading pretty much at break even here on this at 382. Um, you know, if Hey, look, if you can afford to risk 150 bucks, put your stop at 3,400. I believe that's it. Yeah, 34, yeah, 3402, 34, yeah, yeah, 3402, 3410, somewhere in there. Not risk more than just a few hundred dollars. You got the, you're playing against the Federal Reserve, but, you know, they, they, they let you play against them because you can put your stops in. So you don't want to risk very much at all. This is one of those times where you don't have to risk. Hey, stop and think if you'd have done it yesterday, you made 400 handles at uh you know 400 points at one time today at least 300 that's you know that's uh, well anyway just don't try to lose too much tomorrow 
we're going to have Tim Boston. We'll have some stuff about Bitcoin. Of course, he's very, very good. On Friday, we'll have um, Jim Bartolioni of uh, uh, Bart's Charts. And next week, we have Norm Winsky. We're also going to have uh, Jeff Huge and Stan Harley and J.C. Parrots of All Star Charts. Got some guests coming in. We're hoping to have John Pinnell um, on, not John Pinnell, John, Johnny Person from uh, back in Florida as one of our guests. He really understands the, the Dowie Mini. He's been trading that forever, and that's his specialty. So we hope to have hope to have him on next week, too. So that's what we're watching. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, folks, and try to do something for your neighbors. I say that every day, but it's really important because uh, there's a lot of folks out there that are having a great deal of difficulty and it's not any fun when you uh, happen to be in the uh, situation where <laughs> you don't know whether you're going to be uh, having a next meal or not. Fortunately, in our neighborhood, uh, there's only a few families. Uh, raise your hand, Larry. I haven't missed many meals lately, but you never know. So anyway, let's take a deep breath. Thank God for what we have. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.